Welcome, everyone. Today, we're exploring the inspiring journey of Queen Margrethe of Denmark and her dynamic transition as she passes the crown to her son, King Frederick. After an impressive 52-year reign, what does the future hold for this beloved royal family? Stick around to find out, and don't forget to subscribe for more captivating royal stories. Queen Margrethe has long been a cherished figure in Denmark, celebrated for her dedication and service. Her reign, which began on January 14, 1972, made her the second longest reigning monarch in Danish history. However, on January 14, 2024, she officially stepped down, marking the end of an era. But what happens next for a queen who has devoted her life to her country? Even after abdicating the throne, Margrethe remains active in public duties. Recently, a fall landed her in the hospital, causing concern among her subjects. Thankfully, the palace reassured everyone that she is recovering well. But how will this affect her upcoming engagements? As Queen Margrethe prepares for her return, she's set to attend the prestigious E.B. Monk Prize presentation at Christiansborg Palace in early November. What does this award represent, and how does it reflect her enduring legacy? The E.B. Monk Prize honors individuals who embody the spirit and values that Margrethe has championed throughout her reign, showcasing her commitment to the future of Denmark. Amid these transitions, Queen Mary and King Frederick are also navigating their new roles as Denmark's royal couple. With changes happening in their close-knit royal circle, how do they maintain stability during this whirlwind of adjustments? Recently, the departure of Lena Babi, the court's long-serving head of public relations, marked a significant shift in their royal household. What does this mean for their public presence and communication with the people? In addition to household shifts, Queen Mary has been facing challenges within her charitable foundation, which she founded in 2007. The Mary Foundation has played a crucial role in supporting marginalized individuals, but following the departure of its communications manager, the foundation is undergoing a transformation. How will this impact the foundation's mission and initiatives? After a lengthy search, they appointed Newark Bisberg as the new communications head. With her extensive experience, how will she reinvigorate the foundation and drive its projects forward? While Queen Margrethe prepares for her public return, King Frederick and Queen Mary are focusing on building a robust support system within their household and foundation. Their ability to adapt to these changes and embrace new beginnings speaks volumes about their resilience and commitment to their roles. As the Danish monarchy evolves, how will it continue to connect with the people and champion social causes? Thank you for joining me in this exploration of Queen Margrethe and King Frederick's journey. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more royal insights and inspiring stories.